right, welcome back to your balance diet of teletainment. Now, time for us to talk about something where they're very interesting and where a lot of Nigerians, they actually suffer. Now, according to what Poverty Clock and recent um, study don't show, say, Nigeria get the country where get the highest number of people where they live in extreme poverty. In short, we don't actually overtake India on top of this matter. About 86 million Nigerians actually, they poor. Now, in every minute, six Nigerians, they go poor. What's going be the problem? And how we go fit solve this particular issue that now we get those two Kajat guests inside the house to talk about how we feel actually eradicate poverty in Nigeria and how technology can be used to solve um, this particular issue. Um, I get um, Ini Ikide inside the house. Im now the project lead for Eco Beats and Edo Beats ICT Academy. Now Edo Be Eco Beats and Edo Beats ICT Academy, they actually set up mob for inside 2016 by work in progress uh, and uh, alliance with Oxfam Novib as the lead partner. Ingo, tell us more about this. Um, join me, welcome Ini Ikide inside the house. Good to have you. Good morning. Good morning. And we get Asha Adeniye, the head of Poise Graduate Finishing School. Good to have you in the Thank house. Thank you. Thank you. Now, tell us a little bit about Eco Beats and Edo Beats ICT. OK, um, thank you once again for having me this morning. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, okay, Ecobit um, ICT Academy is um, a youth-based organization okay. that is saddled with the responsibility of um, helping youth from uh, the less privileged communities, you know, youth from informal communities, from slum communities, you know, and uh, what are we doing? We are actually um, um, providing them with the adequate skills, you know, to make them productive. Uh, what are these skills? We've already identified ICT as the future of the world. The world belongs, so ICT belongs to the world, and every day we see um, innovations coming up in this area. And um, we've actually realized that we have certain people in our society that uh, we are not really focusing on. They are kind of being left behind, you know, and we, they are the ones we target. So we identify them um, by visiting these communities, you know, and by providing them with these ICT skills in order to make them to restore this hope that seemed to be lost, you know, and to uh, make, of course, make them productive and to also help them um, reduce, um, uh, to help the society um, get better. All right, let me speak with Asha now as the head of um, Postgraduate Finishing School. Looking at the statistics where I just read come out, about 86.9 million Nigerians, they actually they poor. What do you feel, say, with the practical steps we people put on ground? In some cases, as regards to the youth, in eradicating poverty to a certain extent? Um, I think what you have said is very right, the statistics, and it's really quite worse. Uh, you know, uh, very recently we heard that Nigeria is now the, lad um, the nation with the largest number of people with, uh, that are poor. You know, so, mm -hmm. uh, yes, over 80 million people in Nigeria are living in abject poverty. So it's very, very bad. The situation is bad. And what uh, INI and POIS is doing at ECOBIT is very instructive to change the um, thinking of how to deal with the root cause of poverty because the root cause of poverty is lack of skills you know um, in, you know the other time we talked about people not getting jobs because people don't value vocational skills so now people value you know when I say oh I can design a website or I can design a graphic for you or I can do something on I can undo your event management, uh, your event rather, okay, or I can do photography for you. Those are the skills that people really value and pay for. And so we say, okay, these people that are living in abject poverty, especially the youth. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yes, especially the youth. Can we train them in, on these skills? Mm -hmm. So we go to some communities, talk to community leaders, engage them on our plans because we need community leaders, parents, and talk to them. And then they come to our facility for about a week. It's totally free of charge because, you know, it's being sponsored. So it's totally free of charge for this community. And we think that that is the way to go. Uh, we've left that era of, you know, doing vocational skill like dyeing, uh, bead making, tailoring. We've left that era because what the, uh, what we are, the world is going through is now global skills. Where skills that, while you are in Nigeria, you can work for somebody in Brazil. While you're in Nigeria, you can work for somebody in Portugal. And you can do that. 
if you have those IT skills. I like the fact that you talk, say, it's a global skill. Now, while you're in Nigeria, you can actually work with people um, abroad. Because a lot of people who come as I tell you, say, we have a lot of skilled Nigerians, but the economy is not actually they're favorable to them. Have you actually seen someone who uh, get this mindset and how you take actually change that person's mindset? Okay, yeah. Uh, you see, the mindset is a very powerful tool. You know, and that's part of what we do when uh, we get them to come to Poise, Nigeria. Because what we do is to work on their mindsets, to make them understand that if they are operating on a fixed mindset, then it will be very, very difficult for them to grow. You know, um, people are getting jobs every day. You understand what I'm and saying? And people are getting laid off every day. Yeah but, yeah, but where we come in is to provide them with this adequate skill. Now, the issue is, uh, part of the problem is people not having access to opportunities. You understand? There are opportunities there on one hand, but on the other hand, they do not know how to access this opportunity. You understand? So they come to us, they come to Poise Nigeria, and at Ecobit, you know, we try to, number one, work on their mindset and adequately prepare them for the workplace. And that is where the Poise Graduate Finishing Academy comes into play. It's an employability skills program where we prepare them adequately for, you know, for the job, uh, for the job market or the, you know, so that is exactly, and, what, and we've been having um, success stories over the years, um, very high percentage going to about 90% now, you know, people coming in at one point, you know, lacking certain skills and not being able to access opportunities and we, you know, we polish them thoroughly, we provide them with these skills and we connect them with good jobs. Just to get you correctly, now yeah. they actually go for these places whereby we get a lot of Nigerians there, they are not doing anything, and then you bring them in free of charge, mm -hmm. you train them for how many weeks or how many months? Depending on the program, we have the program that runs for three months, we have the one that runs for one year. So you train them free of charge? Yes. And afterwards? Feed them. And you even feed them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And afterwards, what with the follow-up on that they do? Okay, now there's what we call uh, the story of change. You know, and that is part of the thing we focus on because we try to find out what happened before coming, what happened, uh, what's happening during your stay, and what happens after. You know, so the old, one of the major goals is not just to train them and say goodbye. You know, we must make them um, productive by either uh, providing loans for them to start up something, you know, or by we, we by connecting them to employment. You know, to employers, we organize job fair. You know, we are masters at, at doing that. You know, we provide, uh, they go for internship placement, you know, maybe for three months or for four months, and to that means they get um, their skills will be appreciated and they, you know, get confirmed and everything. You know, so we don't just train them and say goodbye. We train them and we connect them to jobs. Looking at this, you're doing so much contributing to um, the society by training these people in technology. Absolutely. So my major concern right now, when I train these people for almost like three months, sometimes two months, sometimes two yeah. weeks, sometimes yeah. three weeks, fee yeah. of charge. Yeah. And in some cases, you even give them avenue to actually um, get loans for their business. Yeah. Who they sponsor on now? We have several donors. Okay. Um, and this is a concept because the idea is to sincerely eradicate poverty. Yeah. And these are folks that have never taught a computer. So the first time they are doing that, you see some of them cry. So it's a lot of work for yes. you. Yes. <laughs> so you're taking someone that has never, yeah. ever taught a computer, just cited it and say, oh, this for, these are for big boys or for the elite. And now taking them to knowing how to do, develop a website, mm -hmm. how to... Do, so it's a total change. So that changes their mind on its own. And then we have sustainability plans. So one of the sustainability plans, for instance, is to set up all of them on, a f on our own freelance website, where we tell the world the story. And then you, probably you want to start your business, or you have something, so just some little design you want to do. Go there you and just go them. there and use them, and then you pay them directly. So that's part of the sustainability plan. Uh, the other thing is we have several partners. A lot of people are now going to the digital marketing. A lot of people want anyone to do their digital designs and that. So they come to us and we give them uh, some of these candidates because uh, they are not as expensive as the um, e expert you will see mm -hmm. outside. And, uh, but, and you see, we say something at uh, Poise that when you come in, mm -hmm. is that's not the end of the story. Mm -hmm. yeah. So 
we follow through. We, there's their ongoing trainings with them. Which is good, yeah, which, which is, is actually very good. Now, in the, in the, uh, we, apart from the fact that you get several donors, let's understand the role of government in this particular project. Mm -hmm. You don't actually relate to government or write to them about um, the initiative that you get on ground, and are they in full support of this? Yeah, so, um, okay, so let me just, okay. some, some, some government have, yeah. um, you know, um, I was listening to the previous, um, um, the I think Tory talks. Okay, the newspaper the review. Newspaper review. I was was very hilarious, but very insightful too. Um, we have some headway with some government. I don't know if you want me to mention, but we have some headway with some state government where they see that actually what will last, what um, they can give a poor youth, is. IT skills, mm. and then in a, in that particular state government, um, they what have state adopted is this? this Edo State. Edo State. Yeah, okay. they've adopted Edo Beat. Mm -hmm. So we're training youth. They've adopted another um, uh, person, another supplier, to teach youth free of charge on data science, mm. which is another key wow. thing. See, in the next five years, ten years. We'll be talking about data science. Yes. I, totally, yes. I, I totally love this initiative. Now, if person they watch us now and they get a community of people whereby they know that they are very eager to learn something, how can they reach you? Um, so, um, Ini will talk about it more, but there's something we are also doing. We've, we, we are saying that the youth should also reach out to five people yearly and train them. Mm -hmm. So, if we train 90 people, Last year, for instance, the 90 people we trained, another five, that's 450. So, um, so it's like giving so back and yes, giving like pay giving forward. Back, yeah. All right, so how can they reach you? Okay, um, of course, um, we, we have a uh, website, website and email. Uh, yeah, www.ecobeats.academy. And uh, in addition to what um, Asha has said, yes, uh, in as much as we work with donors, uh, we have some government, you know, um, some states that have supported us. At the same time, we feel this is also an avenue for us to uh, reach out to Nigerians, you know, to government, to philanthropists, to or donor organizations, because we want to do more. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to reach so many communities, you know, um, within Lagos and even outside uh, outside Nigeria, because we know these issues are right before us uh, as a nation. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's also an opportunity for them to contact us at um, Ecobit. Um, Dr. Academy, or uh, to contact uh, Poise Nigeria, um, or Poise uh, Graduate Finishing Academy. And anybody can sponsor anyone. Yes. I can decide that I want to sponsor like five years, yes. and Definitely. I come to you. Definitely. So I beg, just go www.ecobit.academy. Ecobit Academy. So please, please, please create an impact in the society. Thank you so much, Ini Ikide and Asha Adeniye. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.